everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. I hope you all are doing well. Today is November 3rd, 2020, and my husband just got in a bunch of kits. Those are the metal parts that go in the seam rippers, and he is outside as I speak, putting them all together, and we're going to put them on the store later on this afternoon, as soon as everything is all caught up here. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff I wanted to talk to you about today. First of all, I want to thank Linda. I received your nice card and your letter and your little October calendar, and that's very nice. And I also received the pattern that she sent me a pattern called Leaves. Leaves of Fall is what it's called. It is a Cozy Quilt Designs Leaves of Fall. And I really like this. And I have a special plan for this. I'm gonna to talk to you about it in just a minute. But Linda, thank you very much. That was so thoughtful. I really appreciate it. You know, I have been getting a lot of, oh, there's one of you that hates it when I say you know, cause you go, no, I don't know. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's really hard, you guys. I, I, watch, I watch a vlogger by the name of Minimal Mom Joy uh, Bernhardt had, if you guys have not watched Joy Bernhardt's channel, you need to. She does a lot of sewing instruction and whatnot. I know I have a lot of embroiderers on my channel. So let me get back to what I was talking about. When I watch Minimal Mom and I see her videos, she, I've learned through the course of watching her videos, used to have a career in broadcasting. So she's professionally trained. And even she says, you know, and um, so there are those verbal distractors. I try to cut them out when I'm doing my editing, but you know, this, you know, this is me and, and uh, you get me as I am. So I get a lot of emails and I see a lot of comments on the Facebook group. We have a Power Tools with Thread Facebook group. We're almost 4,000 members strong. Please join. And one of you wrote me an email that you bought all of the fabric for the Fa La La quilt. And if you're new to my channel, let me get that quilt. We did a little quilt along not too long ago. And it is for a Villa Rosa Designs pattern called Fa La La. And I said that this was going to be a great quilt for beginner quilters. Because there's not that much piecing that goes into this quilt. For the most part, there's a couple of half square triangles that you have right here. This is half green and half white, the half square triangle. And then you make what's called a snowball block in these decorations. And that's it. There really aren't any other big uh, heavy piecing uh, parts that go into this quilt. Well, one of you wrote me and you said you got all the fabric for it and you were terrified because it was your first quilt and you felt like you bit off more than you could chew and you're scared to, to cut into your fabric. So I want to talk to you about that, about, about, you know, quilt anxiety. First of all, just like quilting Marine says, it's just thread and it's just fabric or it's only thread and it's only fabric. It's, it's not life and death. And if you feel like you're going to make a mistake on it, Get your ugly fabric. Yes, it's okay to say that there's ugly fabric. I have lots of it. Get fabric that is not what is considered quilt shop quality, but maybe that you like it. If you don't have any ugly fabric, if you're new to quilting, you may not have a big stash, but go to the Hobby Lobbies and the Joann's of the world that are out there and, and or Walmart even, and go buy inexpensive, non quilt shop quality fabric. It's okay. Go get that and make yourself a bunch of half square triangles or go make yourself a quilt if you want, you know, in another color way. Give yourself permission to make mistakes. It's okay because I make a ton of mistakes. I just took bringing home the Christmas tree off the long arm and there was a ton of mistakes in that and I'm not going to show them to you because that's not what we do. You need to get past that. All right, it's okay to make mistakes. I did not start out quilting great. I still don't quilt great. You know, when it comes to quilters, I'm a bit of a hack. I'm a much better embroiderer than I am a quilter. 
but I love quilting and I love piecing and I love cutting and I like putting it all together. Uh, one of my viewers, Katie, asked me the million dollar question she called it. She says, what do you do with all of your quilts? Well, most of mine I give away. I don't, I don't have a whole lot of space for quilts. And if you make a, a, a practice quilt, call it, give yourself permission to make mistakes. Go back and watch my videos. I give you very easy step-by-step -step tricks to be able to create those blocks because sometimes they're not what they initially seem. Sometimes you need to kind of finagle the fabric a little bit, but it's okay. I mean, I made my first quilt. Oh my goodness, it was a disaster. It was a star points quilt. I don't have a picture of it here. It's down at the coast. And I tipped every one of those stars. It had these points that went out like a starburst. I love that pattern. I, in fact, I made it again for my boss when he retired last year. And, and I tipped every one of those stars. And instead of being embarrassed about it, I hang it on patriotic weekends from our deck down at the coast. And when people are just driving by, they don't know that those <laughs> points are tipped. They see a beautiful red, white, and blue quilt. And they just go by and they honk and they wave. And I get comments that people just love my quilt. But it's a mess. I mean, it's a horrible mess. The back of it is even worse. So don't, don't beat yourself up. Now, for if you bought fabric for the Fa La La quilt, just go ahead and cut it. And if you, if you make a mistake, go buy more fabric. Not a big deal. Now, a block of the month is a different dog, okay, because you only get so much fabric. And Sherry, I'm talking to you, all right? You only get so much fabric, and you don't want to screw it up because there isn't any more. And sometimes after a while, you can learn how to finagle your cutting so that you have a lot of extra fabric left over if you might need it. But especially this first month, we got on what what's the name of it sew by row you get uh plenty of the background fabric you get plenty of the scissor fabric but the colors for the individual handles you get one little seven by ten square and that's it and you need like 95 percent of that piece well i would recommend practice on different fabric until you get comfortable with the process of creating all those little corners that they want you to because there's a whole lot of uh, uh, snowballing as we call it these corners and if you don't get them right everything's going to be all wonky so i i really recommend that you practice on those first until you're comfortable with the process and then go ahead when you feel like oh, okay now i've got this then go ahead and stitch it out but you know even then if you haven't cut your final trim, I'm not talking about cutting the fabric into the initial pieces. I'm talking about once you get your snowball corners on and you trim those. If you haven't cut your final trim, you can always unpick that. So it, it's okay to make the mistake. I've unpicked a couple. Matter of fact, in the bringing home the Christmas tree quilt, I gotta find this. I, I'm, it's hanging right here. I made a mistake on one of the windows and I was out of fabric and I actually ended up, let me see if I can find it. I actually ended up piecing a couple of the scraps together to make a window. And I'm only gonna show you this because I want you to see that it's okay to make the mistake. See, I can't even find it now. It's okay to make the mistake because it when you get to the end, Nobody's gonna see your mistake. Was it a window? Was it the car? Where was the mistake? There it is. I found it. It's on the orange car. I'll show you guys right here. I made a mistake. I'm gonna show you right here. See that seam? There's a seam right there. I had to use two scraps to put this window together. There's always a way to fix it. So I'm not going to tell you not to be intimidated by that because you're going to feel intimidated by it whether I tell you to or not. But I want you to have the confidence to go ahead and cut. Just cut and sew. And always count your measurements twice. They say 
uh, um, measure twice, cut once. And that's the truth. So I, you know, I'll sit there, I'll put my ruler over it and go one, two, three and a half. Okay, right there. And double check it every time. Nothing wrong with that. Count it like a two-year-old. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. So while I have this quilt off the long arm, let me show it to you. Ugh. I'm going to back up. Here it is. All done and quilted. The backing is a 108 I got from Connecting Threads years ago. And the quilt pattern is called Winter White. I got it at Urban Elements. I don't know if you can see it. It has snowflakes. Let me see if I can find a pretty... There's, a, there's one there in the blue. You might be able to see it. Do you see the snowflake? Very, very cute. Swirlies and snowflakes. Just love this little bit. Here's a big snowflake. Can you see that in the white? I don't know if you can. But I love it. I, it turned out super cute. So, so nice. Okay. That's two big quilts. Done. Oh, a lot of you have asked about the seam rippers and the necklaces and our USB sticks and all of those things we have in our power tools with threadstore.com. Do we ship worldwide? Do we ship to Canada? Yes, we do. We are able to do that no problem whatsoever. And if you're not sure how much the shipping is going to be if you're overseas, then go ahead and, and put some items in your cart on our store and go almost all the way through the purchasing process. And before you get to the end, it will tell you exactly how much your shipping is going to be. So you that way you'll have an idea. We don't set the shipping on that. We just allow um, you to pick where it's going to go. We have, we ship, of course, to the United States. And then we have Shopify has, it says rest of world. So we do that too. And, you know, why should, why should you fans down in, Australia and New Zealand and Norway and Canada not be able to get those awesome seam rippers. So, you know, if COVID hadn't happened, we, let's see, the third might still be at the Houston Quilt Festival or it would have ended yesterday, Sunday. It was yesterday, Sunday, was today? Oh, today's Super Tuesday. So it would have ended last Sunday. Well, the company that puts on the Quilt Festival is not to be deterred. So they are having a virtual Quilt Festival. It's gonna be December 3rd through the 5th, and I'm not real sure how all of this is gonna work, but I think you can buy tickets so you can get into the Virtual Quilt Festival, and then you're gonna be able to see and do and, and, and look at vendors and all kinds of stuff. I have no clue how this is gonna work. I'm really excited to find out about it though because I am going to be doing a demo in the Virtual Quilt Festival. My time slot is 10 to 10.30. I will be at the Brother booth with all brands and I will be doing demos on how to cut fabric with the Scan and Cut. And I'm gonna use Linda's leaf pattern to show how to do that. So that's gonna be really neat. And then if I have time, I will go ahead and show how to then stitch it on using the uh, Simply Applique program. But this quilt is so pretty and it has the perfect, perfect applique for cutting fabric who, using the Scan and Cut. Who wants to cut this by hand? Not fun. It's hard on the old fingers, you know, as you try to get around and get those little indentations with the leaf and everything. So I'm going to use this pattern that Linda sent me. So I really appreciate the pattern, Linda. I think this is awesome. And then I will do a demo. Hopefully I will have time to do a demo showing how to stitch it down using Simply Applique. But I'm very excited about that. I just really appreciate all brands uh, giving me the opportunity to do that. Barbara contacted me and said, hey, we're doing the virtual. We got a premier booth at the a virtual quilt show. Do you want to be part of that? Of course I do. <laughs> Very excited about that. Also, have you guys heard of a quilt case? Laura Koya from So Very Easy on YouTube, I think that's how she says her last name, started this thing 
called a quilt case, traveling quilt case. And Cheryl sent it to me, but what it is is it comes with some stuff from uh, uh, sponsors, and then you put things, it's, it's because of COVID where we can't travel, so, but your suitcase can. And she has a whole video that I'm gonna link to down below in the description box, or you can go to YouTube and type in so very easy, or just uh, do a Google search for traveling quilt case. And then you can see what this is all about, and maybe you'd like to do one too. So you you create a box, essentially it's just a box. Let me show you what I got. So I got this box, it's not a suitcase, and Cheryl sent it to me, and it comes with all of these things that explain what's going on in the traveling quilt case. It's kind of a concept of the uh, uh, leave a penny, take a penny concept we have. You know, when you go to the convenience store, if you need a penny, there's one there you can take it out, and if you, if you have some extras, throw them in the dish for the next guy. Same idea. So this box arrived full of quilt fabric and batting and notions and tons of stuff. And Cheryl put a note in here. You're supposed to put a note. Here's a picture of what a quilt might look like. Cheryl put a nice note in here. This is October 26, 2020, leaving Coopersville, Michigan. So the box started in Canada and it's leaving Coopersville, Michigan, October 26. And it's a pay it forward type of thing. And it's just a little fun. She is gifting Thanksgiving pot holders to me from Power Tools with Thread in Texas. So Cheryl, thank you. These are gorgeous. I love them. Look at these. I've never made anything with that star pattern in it. That's so cool. I know everybody has these things. I've seen them for years and years, but I've never, ever, uh, never seen them up close. Very nice. Thank you. You're supposed to write a note in the comp in the book that's with it and explain who you're sending it to and why and a little bit about your quilting journey if you want. And then um, you can go through here and you can take something if you would like it and then put an item or two in there and then ship it to one of your quilty friends and just see how long you can keep it going. They have a Facebook group where this particular box has a number that it, it comes with traveling quilt case guidelines and tips on here and each one has a number. This is 1006 and so you're supposed to go onto um, their Facebook group and or you can hashtag I think also on Instagram yeah Facebook and Instagram you can hashtag quilters case 1006 and then you can follow your case wherever it is and see where it's going so I think that's really cool that's really neat 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 stuff so I'll put all this back in here it even has a little traveling quilt case luggage tag how cool is that huh awesome stuff. Hey, did you guys see the new Connecting Threads magazine came out? This is like candy to me. Eye candy, eye candy. They've got a couple of really cute little baby quilts in here that are just adorable and they're kits. There is uh, Uni the Unicorn. That's a real cute one there. She's doing some painting. And here is uh, Wolfs and Wags. Just adorable for little boys. So I will put a link to this below and you guys can jump over there and take a look at what's coming up in Connecting Threads. Lots of neat stuff. And um, also, I want to let you guys know, remember my viewers that have been with me for a long time, uh, we did the Hallelujah Quilt last Christmas from Urban Elements and we did the uh, Warmest Wishes. Oh, Hallelujah was two Christmases ago. And then we did Warmest Wishes and last year and right now I have a link below in the description box so I will link that down there and if you need digital quilt patterns you need fabric maybe you want to get some quilt kits and everything everything you can get 25% off okay so I will link to that below all right you guys I think that's all I had to talk to you about today I really appreciate your time thank you so much for visiting with me and I appreciate your thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget that. And we will talk to you soon. Go sew something. Bye.